Hello, my laser peeps. Okay, so you have light burn, you got your laser engraver. Typically, what happens when you first get your engraver and you're setting it up for the first time, there are things that can get overlooked, and this is to address that. Now, I have a Mirror 9 from Eon Laser USA. Great, wonderful. We're on the same page with that. So, you have here a couple of settings you need to look at first. We're going to look at machine settings. Now my machine is turned on, it's plugged in, these are the settings that pop up. Now they typically give you a little flash drive when they send it. Uh, it's in a big container such as this. And on that keychain is going to be a list of settings that you will want to have. So for this, uh, you want to load from file, go to your USB settings, machine settings, open those up and that will load those settings and you write that to your machine that is it you write it it'll say ah it's been written into the machine and you click OK I've already done this I don't need to do it so I want to go away from that but now there's uh, another two steps to continue on with this to make sure light burn is perfectly synced with your machine and that would be both under device settings. You have what's called your scanning offsets. Now, the, the best way to describe that is when you're engraving like a square, if there's any like wobbliness to the edges of that square, like instead of a nice crisp line, like if it's looking like it's jagged somehow, you probably don't have these settings put in. So again, using your flash drive, go to import, uh, go to your USB, settings, scanning offsets. You click open, and I believe this won't change anything. No, these are the same settings. So you just make sure it's enabled, and that's it. So you just leave that alone. So now this will properly handle the different speeds that your laser is going and making sure it's firing out the emission when it's supposed to. Last thing this is your simulation uh, preview thing whenever you're planning out a job if you have say you know a bunch of words and you want to go to your preview window and it'll show oh, okay here's how long it'll take here's all the movements that your laser head will do this is where the simulation preview comes into order and this will take a minute 54 it's difficult to say exactly what these uh, settings are now. I don't even remember what they were when I first got the machine, but they were definitely not this high. I think that was like 200. I think maybe that was 400. I think maybe these were 200 each. Like the numbers were very low. Now I can go and change these. So I'm not ruining my light burn by doing this, but what was once a minute 50 now this would take you know almost four minutes because it thinks your machine is a lot slower than it actually is so this is not a good representation of what your machine can actually do so to fix that this will be your first initial thing with Lightburn. you just read from controller and now it's taken what you did with your machine settings when you wrote them to your machine now it's reading that from the controller and it's saying, oh, your maximum speed is this. Oh, the acceleration is that. And oh, this is what your machine is capable of. You click OK. You go back to your preview window and oh, this should yeah, take you a minute 50. And this is a six inch wide thing. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. So that is how you get quick and easy results with a uh, light burn, making sure they're perfectly synced up with your machine and making sure that what you're seeing in the light burn side of it is being reflected in what actually happens in your machine. That's it. So please, whenever you get your machine, make sure you do all this initial setup. That's more often than not the, the complaints that I see when people say, oh, I'm not getting good results and I'm not getting the intended things that I want to get out of my machine. So just do that. And sometimes multitasking means talking to a screen, doing bubbles, and keeping an eye on the toddler while also... 
This is just water. I have to actually put bubbles in here. You can't just put water in here, buddy. That's not the way it works. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your lasering.